All right, hey class. So as you guys remember, we're gonna pick up where we left off in the math section of the ACT. So you guys know we're on unit five, and last class we did the Pythagorean theorem. So who can remind me what the Pythagorean theorem is and what the equation is? Yeah, Maria. So the Pythagorean theorem is just basically an equation to help you find the hypotenuse of a triangle, and the equation is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Mm -hmm, exactly, and that was what the problem was on the homework as well. Um, so we, that, we have this up here, and it's on your sheet as well, the handout that I passed out earlier. Um, so we know that the length of this side is 5, and the length of this side is 8. So what did you guys get for the length of the hypotenuse? Yeah, Patrick. Uh, the square root of 89. Exactly. Um, so we have that equation in the Pythagorean theorem, but now we're going to look at how we can get that exact same answer using a different equation, which is the distance formula. So um, the distance formula is on the top of your sheet, so can someone just read that out for me? It's also up here. Yeah, Sarah. It's the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Mm -hmm, exactly. So we're going to use that for the exact same triangle, but say we don't know the length of these two sides, we have to find the length of the hypotenuse, but maybe we only have these two coordinates for A and B. So we're going to find the distance of AB, but we're not going to use the Pythagorean theorem that you guys had on the homework. Um, so did it, like, to get the answer from the Pythagorean theorem, it's up here, so if anyone has any questions about stuff from last class, feel free to talk to me. Um, but we're going to go ahead and use the distance formula to find the exact same answer, which is the square root of 89. Um, so I'll start writing it up on the board, and you guys can try and work it out um, using this, and then we'll go through it all together and make sure we all get it right. And as always, remember that x comes first and y comes second in these points. Okay, was that enough time for everybody? Okay, so we're gonna get going. Okay, so this equation, so in, within um, the overall square root, we have x2 minus x1 squared. So for that, using these points, um, with x being zero and y being eight, and five, five being x, zero being y, for a and b, we're gonna get five minus zero squared, and then zero minus eight squared which we bring down to the square root of 25 plus 64, and then we're going to get the square root of 89. Yeah, do you have a question, Noella? Yeah, so my question is, so um, when we uh, do the squares, so we get 25 plus 64, mm -hmm. why is it plus 64 instead of minus 64? Because in the original parentheses, we have a minus 8. That's a great question. Okay, so this is related to when we square numbers. So we'll remember this from previous in class. So we're going to take 8 times 8. 8 squared is 8 times 8, which we know is 64. But then if we're taking negative 8 squared, it's going to be negative 8 times negative 8. And we know that when you multiply a negative by a negative, you're going to get a positive. So it's still going to be positive 64. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, thanks. awesome. So when you square a negative, it's going to be positive in this case. So, and then did everyone get the square root of 89? Okay, awesome. So let's think about maybe when we would use a real life example of this. So as you can see on this picture, um, if we have a ship's mast, maybe if we need to find the length of this side, we can use this kind of equation. Or another example would be if we have a triangular piece of land and we need to find, like maybe we're building a fence around it and we need to know the distance of each side, we can do it that way. Does anyone have any other examples? Yeah, Carmen. Um, for example, like if you were leaning up a ladder against the side of a building if you wanted to know how far you had to extend the ladder to reach a certain height. Exactly, and that was one of the problems on the homework, so good job. Um, all right, so we're gonna go over one more example together, um, and the triangle is right here and it's on your handout. So again, try and use the distance formula rather than Pythagorean theorem and find the distance of A times B. Um, and I'll walk around and see if anyone has any questions. <laughs> 